can start now. Uh, so first of all, uh, Caramba, uh, it's just a traditional finite element software. So it needs the pre-processing. It has got a solver and it has got a post-processing. Uh, so first of all, we have to deliver a geometry, a geometry to the um, software. We will start with uh, point XYZ construct point. I will just create two points because I want to create a line in between these two points. Uh, I am, uh, at least me, I am uh, designing in millimeters, so I will go for like uh, 2000 wider. And I will connect to the X and I will create the second one and go for the second point. Uh, one I will move to zero, the second one will be 2000. Uh, probably it's so far away that you have to zoom out the view uh, in the Rhino. This is uh, okay. And then I will just create a line. So I type line, start point, end point. And this line we would like to uh, change into the cantilever. To do this, uh, we just have to go for the line to beam inside the Caramba 3D. And we connect line to the line inside the Caramba um, uh, component. Then uh, we, what we want to do else, we want to assemble the model which is like gathering all of the elements in the model. And we are connecting element to the element, output to the inputs. And then we would like to see what we have done. So we go for the results and the model view. And uh, already here we can uh, like try to um, see um, some things, but before we go here we will create some kind of the analysis and uh, to do this we go for the algorithm and we will go for the analyze which is the first order analyze uh, infinite element uh, method so it's small display small display displacement and he is turning uh, red it's just because we don't have any supports and we don't have the loads so we have to introduce one support at the end uh, to do this, we will go into the model and then take support. I will choose one of the points. Uh, let me see. I would choose this one with the zero, but it doesn't matter so much. And um, I will block all of the uh, movement on this side and I will connect this support to the assemble model Caramba 3D. Uh, already you see that it's turned uh, from red to the uh, gray. So uh, now it is working. I will connect calculated model to the model. And I will just see one thing. If I go over the calculated model, I will see that he generally created a model uh, with a length of 4,100 meters. It means um, he is taking all of the elements which are coming here in, uh, in meters. So we will have to switch the inputs value to 4.1, for example. And here I will go for um, 2.1. And I'll go for one of these to the zero. The second one is 4.1. And if I go right now for the calculated model, I see that the length is approximately 4.1 meter. Um, I will try to zoom in now.
Uh, you see that the, how the um, supports are marked uh, in the Karamba. It's um, the <clears throat> uh, circles. And then uh, what we are missing, we are still missing some kind of the load. Let's go for the load uh, in the Karamba 3D and let's go for the loads uh, Karamba 3D. Uh, by default, it's gravity. Okay, let's take it and let's connect it to the load. And already right now you see how the cantilever starts to work. The displacement have up, uh, has appeared. Uh, it will disappear if I will turn off the preview of the model view. So everything what you are uh, doing in the Karamba, if you want to be uh, preview, uh, it, uh, you have to connect the model view to the um, uh, analyze Karamba 3D. Um, Okay, the next step is to add the cross section. Um, right now, you can, this is, a, some of you have got a new Karamba, maybe some of you have got all, but if you install it this year, it should be all of you should have the Karamba 1.3 version. And then you have a cross section in the line to beam and the cross section in the assemble model. This part is the old version of Karamba when we have connected the cross section directly to the assemble. But um, right now, the newest version is that we are connecting cross section to the uh, line definition. But both ways are still accurate, um, okay, proper. So uh, we will go for the cross section, Karamba 3D. Move it down, and then I will go for the rectangular. Uh, I like the trapezoid one. And here, if you um, go over the height, you see that he is expecting us to give the cross section in centimeters. So let's give him a twenty, for example, for the height. And uh, I will copy paste this. And for the upper and lower width, I will maybe 240. Uh, okay, and the last thing he is expecting us to give him is the materials. Uh, I think it's exactly the same as it was uh, in the old version, we have to add it to the assemble model. In the new version, we are adding the material to the cross section. But both ways are still um, okay. If we go for the material selection under material, we have already some kind of the database inside the uh, Karamba. I will go for the root and VH1. And right now, if you would like to see what is... Um, okay, th th this is the model view. But for example, I would like to go into beam view which uh, when we go for the results and then then beam view if i connect calculated model to this i see the cross section i see that in trapezoidal it's a little bit uh, opposite uh, i should have 40 in the height and width uh, it's the width I'll go 40, 20. 